Thank you for allowing us to have a small break. If you don't mind, I would like to go back to just a couple of items um, to let you know how we are funding the holiday lights. We have 10,000 of that that will be coming from uh, the public relations uh, budget and the rest would be coming from um, the administrative budget. Also, the sign with the changeable message board, that would also be coming from the administrative budget. Um, did I cover everything that I, I missed to tell Also, you? the projector and screen, okay. that'll be paid for by the administrator budget. Yes. So. All right. Moving right along to B. Yes. This is uh, the FY 14, actually, mm -hmm. uh, federal fiscal year, October 1 through September 30 of 14. Uh, Governor's Highway Safety Office grant that comes from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. It's actually for alcohol saturation patrols, just like we have this current year till the 30th. And we had 41,000 some odd uh, this year for overtime. We have overtime built in this year for this new grant. It's 100% federal dollars. Uh, no match is required at all, but we did build into uh, the grant this year some equipment so we can conduct sobriety checkpoints, purchasing signs, cones, uh, four scene lights, and a seven KW generator, quiet generator. And uh, those items will be fully funded through the grant. Any questions? That's great. Thank you. All right. C, approve change order for the Cheney Woods pressure reducing valve station. I believe that's you, yeah. Okay, so we originally wrote a uh, purchase direct for 2900 that came from initial quotes to do this job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Once Wascon, the, uh, the service provider, got to the site and started taking these things apart, there was a lot more damage than we knew was present. So what we've done is we've gone back to the drawing board to um, um, reauthor a quote. And we're not going to know the total expense until they, you know, sink their labor into it and get us an invoice back. But we wanted to let you know today that we may end up spending over f just over $5,000. It may or may not be that that, that level, but <clears throat> we just wanted you to know beforehand. Okay. So if we get to that level, it would require your approval. Um, may or may not, though, but it may be coming to that. Okay. Do you need this on the agenda for Tuesday night for approval? Will, will we have it? When do you think we'll have the total by? Uh, it, it's hard to say because, like I said, they're going <clears> to <throat> they're going to bill us based on their labor hours. Mm -hmm. uh, they could come in, from what we're guessing, under or over. It's really coin toss. We really need to have a dollar amount to approve. Right, mm -hmm. but parts as well. So uh, it will. It, let's call it not to exceed five thousand. Okay, we can do that. Okay, not to exceed five thousand. Okay. And if it does, we'll have to bring it back another time. Okay. Right. Okay. D, approve renewal of telecommunications service agreement and addendums <clears throat> one, two, and three with TDS for data and telephone services. That's you, TJ? Uh, this is just renewing the contract for the, uh, the actual service, not actually the equipment. So just to provide telephone lines and data connection for us. Just contract the way you like it, Evan? I hadn't seen it for the first. This is <laughs> okay. I actually just received this today. Uh, you know, if you would like, we can move this down under new business, and that way Evan can have a chance to review it and, and comment on it Tuesday night at the meeting. Let's do that. If that's okay. 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 All right. We're going to move. <coughs> I'm going to strike that from the consent. E. 
approve an application for a roadblock to be conducted as a medical benefit for Gary Rockhole from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on October 13, 2012, with a rain date of October 27, 2012, at the intersection of Murfreesboro Road and Stones River Road. Okay, and who is doing this? And who is it? Oh, I mean, who is Otonia now? Gary Rockhold. Had a brain aneurysm. Um, had what three surgeries, I believe, in the last two two weeks. Mm -hmm. So. And he has children. I sort of say other. other He's very very sick, young. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, really devastating this family. Mm -hmm. Is this a Saturday? Yes, yes, it is a Saturday. That's the only time they can do roadblocks, right? We don't have any regulations as far as what day of the week they can or cannot have it. Uh, actually, the next one on the agenda. That's the reason I was going to ask it. The 28th the, is actually on a Sunday for their rain date. Uh, but that's mostly because there weren't any other Saturdays available. I, that was the reason I was asking. I, I thought they just did them on Saturdays. Have we ever approved one on a Sunday? I, I don't think we've ever approved anything other than a Saturday. I'm not sure I like that on a Sunday. Well, that was going to be my question on the next one because I seen mm -hmm. it was eight mm -hmm. days. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we'll move on. Does anybody have any questions on the roadblock for that one? Let's go on to F. Approve an application for a roadblock to be conducted for the Vern Wolverines Triple B youth football team from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. on October 20th with a rain date of October 28th at the intersection of Murfreesboro Road and Stones River Road. I'm not. So on Sunday, I don't think they should be doing a roadblock. Uh-uh. My saying. only guess, and, I, and Jeff may could speak to this, uh, they may be playing uh, one of their games on, on a Saturday. Would that, you think that's why they potentially? Yeah, the regular season goes, ends on the 20th, and then the 27th, they may have a playoff game, but. Well, the other one has their rain date, the 27th. For the 27th, yeah. that yeah. might be why they yeah, There aren't any other Saturdays available. I think that's okay. one of the reasons they moved it to the Sunday. But we don't have anything that says you can or can't have it on any other day of the week. I mean, Charles call. Who used to have that roadblock on Palm Sunday? I don't want to keep them from having it. Yeah. yeah. It's sad, Sunday wouldn't be my pick of a day, but. Of course, that's a rain day. Who, yeah. Who knows and that is, yeah. 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 It's not their choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, y'all decide between here and Tuesday if y'all. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't want to keep them from having it. I just, that wouldn't be the day I'd pick for a rain day. But you don't know their schedule either. Okay. G. Motion uh, uh, G. Approve retention of two expert witnesses by Bass, Berry, and Sim PLC at the hourly rates of $400 an hour, <coughs> excuse me, and $200, hours, uh, $200 an hour, respectively, for the Laverne ETAL Rutherford County Water Systems versus <coughs> Army Corps of Engineers. Mayor, if y'all remember, uh, you formed an alliance with Smyrna, CUD, and Murfreesboro to fight the Army Corps of Engineers, where the Corps come in and basically trying to limit Laverne and this other water utilities' ability to pour water out of the lake. Uh, as a as a group of water users, y'all hired Bassberry and Sims. I don't know a couple couple of months ago, a couple of three months ago, to be the lead attorneys on the matter. They have experience fighting the court. In fact, they even beat the court at one point in time. The lawyers at Bassbury and Sims want to hire two expert witnesses to assist in the uh, handling of the case. And so approval of that would need to come before this board. Everybody's going to have to sign off on it, CUD, Smyrna, and Murfreesboro. The way the fee is being <coughs> broken down is Laverne's paying 10% of the total cost, and the other three utilities are paying 30% apiece. So you're, you're on the hook, or if you approve it, you'd be on the hook for 
and there's no cap on this. I mean, I think everybody's conscious of the cost, but don't go into this thinking that it's going to be up to a certain limit because they haven't told me there's going to be any cap. But they have asked me to bring it to y'all to consider voting on. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I mean, so our our percentage it? would be 40 and 20. Sir? We, we would pay $40 an hour, $20. Just hour to, yeah, exactly. Correct. And, and just to refresh everybody's memory, this is fighting the core regarding the $2.5 million that they're saying they want to get from us for the storage that they claimed was due to their miscalculations. And this is for storage that we've already paid for, I think $2.1 million. And um, we have a signed contract with them, as do I think the rest of the, the people with this, this uh, that's in there with us. So we are fighting them, saying, no, we've already paid you $2.1 million. We have the storage that you say that we have, and um, hopefully we, we can beat them. Cheaper than us having to hire them on our own. A exactly, exactly. Anybody have any other questions of Evan? Just out of curiosity, or? what type of expert witnesses would they, would you have any idea? You know what, I, I was hoping that I wouldn't come up because I, I've, I've got to say, yeah. <laughs> 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 I've got to say that Basbury and Sims has asked me, unless y'all want to meet individually with me, I can tell you who they're looking at, but they're super concerned about the core of finding out who these people are, and so they'd rather me not say in public who they are. But if you want to know, I, I, I can meet with any, any one of you individually and tell you. Sounds good. It's Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> Aaron Brockovich. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next, H, approve online auction of surplus vehicles. And it looks like we have a 93 GMC pickup and a 95 Nissan Frontier. And these will be on um, Gov Deals. Any questions? Okay, moving on, we're going to go to boards. First being the Economic Development Advisory Committee. Everyone knows that uh, Mr. St. John has moved to Mount Juliet, he and his <coughs> wife, uh, for retirement. And he did an awesome job on this board. But we are looking, uh, we have asked some business uh, owners here in Laverne if they would, might be interested. So uh, right now, I don't think we have any. And next, I'm sorry, but my computer keeps going to 40%, guys, and I can't see it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, we do have one position from the police department and chief that'll be coming from your recommendation someone to add to that position and next we do have dang. okay tj i'm gonna pop this upside the head um <laughs> we have uh two positions on the library board um Mr. Gaston respectfully uh, requested to, to resign. He felt that there might be some, some conflicts with him sitting on the board and his HR duties with the city. So we do have his position, and we also have another position that was held by Mr. Lynn Rowe. Lynn Rowe. So anyone that wishing to, to serve on this board, please. Step up. I think y'all have a very good board. Y'all very active with this, uh, with the library. So, and I think we already covered this one, but we will go over it one more time. Number nine, first reading of ordinance 2012-25, an ordinance to amend the 2012. 2013 fiscal year water and sewer fund budget and capital plan for the water treatment plant improvements. This was the, the draft that Mr. Skinner <coughs> passed out to us 
We will go over it one more time. That will be page one with the total of that page and page two being 584. All of that on page four, it will consist of number two, four, and five. And we do have the funds available and we will be paying for that. That'll be number two, four, and five. Mm -hmm. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen. Do we need to go back and discuss number 12? Because we'll kind of jump from that do. one to the other one. Thank you, Bruce. Number 12, we'll have a motion to approve a proposal from CTI Engineers, Inc., for sewer pretreatment streamlining regulations. That's where, but we'll refresh your memory, we've gone over a lot of water issues. This is where they will come in and help us revise our, our sewer ordinances to fit their state and metro regulations and federal. Mm -hmm. and that's something we have to do as soon as possible. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> And again, I want to remind everybody, it is of no fault of anyone sitting in here that this was not done in a timely manner. The letter was received in July of 2010, and it surfaced two, two weeks, weeks ago later. when they, they sent a letter like, uh, excuse us, basically. <laughs> um, but... Um, so it is this it has no reflection on Greg or Jerry, Bruce, or anybody sitting up here is the reasons why this is not done. I just want to make sure that's clear. Any questions? Okay. If not. We'll move on to Mayor and Alderman comments. We'll start with you, Alderman Green. I don't really have anything. Um, I apologize for missing the meeting Wednesday. It's okay. I forgot Miss Teresa's Saturday. So. Well, I did too. We've had a lot on our brains here lately. Well, I was taking care of a little lady, and really and truly. She needed me worse than the guys did. So, forgive me. <laughs> You're forgiven. Mm -hmm. Vice Mayor? Nothing. Okay. Alderman Walgren? I have nothing to just keep the, the, the Rock family and the Brown family in our prayers. On that same day, uh, October 13th, later in the day, and I, I think it's 4 to 8. Rocco family is having a benefit spaghetti dinner, and that will be at the Senior Citizen Center. So uh, I know that right now they're looking for some donations um, on, for various items, whether it be napkins, uh, sauce, uh, pasta, and so on. Um, and, and maybe uh, uh, somehow, we, can we link that somehow with the, with the well, somehow, I, I tell you what, if anyone's interested in donating, they can get a hold of my, myself. Um, and I will get them the appropriate information. So, um, okay, I'll this is October. October 13th, which is a Saturday, same day as their roadblock. And also, they're seeking donations of items that they can auction. Can right? Right, silent auction, right. Okay. Oh, they're do an auction. Awesome. Is that it? Um, glad to see Kyle back. <laughs> His, his daughter had a little incident yesterday. He had us all worried. We're glad she is fine. Your nerves are calmed down now. Kyle is seeing the joys of a four-year-old. <laughs> there will be more, Kyle. Also, I'd like to show this print. 
if everybody can see of our fabulous that's a parade. Lot of That's a lot of folks, people, that came into our city. Uh, our public relations director has uh, had a fun idea, and uh, we're taking this and we're actually resubmitting letters um, to a lot of the businesses that we met, and uh, to and are sending them another little letter telling that Laverne wants you and uh, letting them see that this is, this, we have the people here with the need. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then we also visited the Dairy Queen. I was gonna say, with, send one to the Dairy Queen. With the picture and on the envelope again, she wrote, Laverne wants you. <laughs> so she's got some more fun ideas <coughs> that uh, we're gonna pass along to the Economic Development Board. And uh, we'll let y'all know when we plan on doing uh, another little activity with some businesses. So so we are working diligently. But we with just these. knew Dairy Queen was coming, didn't we, Tom? It, well, they did. I believe the they will at some point. So. I believe you'll. I think they will. Uh, be like Domino's at one point. So. That's right. Um, we've had a good week. Uh, unfortunately, we do have an employee that has uh, gotten a, a better job in another city. Um, Miss Katie Klein will be leaving our stormwater program and, and going to Columbia. And uh, so everybody be here, we'll do a little something for her Tuesday night and uh, welcome her, you know, thank her for her service and uh, wish her well. Uh, with that being said, I think I, I, have I remembered everything? I'm looking to all the departments and Garland's still begging for a million, so. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for your time, efforts. You're very much appreciated. See you Tuesday night. This workshop is adjourned.